Hey guys, it's me, Goldilocks, and this is my channel, Goldilocks Aesthetics, where we talk about plastic surgery and body modification and basically how you get from one shape or one body type to another. Um, I've said it before, I'll say it again. If you are all about like changing your body naturally through uh, diet and exercise, that is so totally awesome. But nah, that's not what we do here. We, you know, we okay with doing a, uh, a trim, a cut, a slit, whatever we need to do to get fabulous. Okay, so let's get to the show. Um, anyway, so this is video number two in our series about how we get from one body type to another body type. And again, just for reference, there's a million different body types. You guys are all like a beautiful bouquet of like gorgeousness, okay? So, but for time's sake, we're gonna break down the body into five different body types, right? And also, um, you know, for time's sake, typically um, the two body types that most women are trying to achieve if they're modifying their body or trying to change their body shape is to get to either a pair or an hourglass, okay? So, I understand that may not be your goal, but you know, just for time's sake, you know, for topic's sake, to be specific, we're just, that's what we're gonna talk about. So we already addressed the ruler shape. If you're interested in that video, check it out. It's, I'm gonna post it somewhere on the screen. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the apple shape, apple shape, and I already had a video. Uh, I'm gonna post that one too. It's about uh, body shapes in general and how to know what your body shape is. So if you fall into that apple body shape, we're gonna talk about how you go from an apple to a pear and hourglass, or hourglass, okay? Let's get started. Anyway, so just a quick summary. An apple shape typically, typically, is someone who has like a little bit of extra in the middle. So like maybe got a little, you know, I don't know what they call this, little extra we'll just say extra okay you got a little extra around here and you have narrow hips um you're probably an apple you're probably an apple um but, but an apple doesn't necessarily mean that you have a lot um of extra weight in your midsection it could also mean that you just have like a thicker waist and you're maybe like you know uh, a thicker woman which is nothing nothing is wrong with that nothing is wrong with that that's dope uh, but that's typically what it is associated with okay so if you're trying to get from an apple to an hourglass or a pear what you're gonna have to do is try to do whatever you can to lessen your midsection because like uh, the definite you know what defines an apple and a pear is typically a smaller waist than their hips and thighs so what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to minimize that waist as much as possible so what you can do um, is lose weight that's one thing uh, however just because you lose weight doesn't mean you're gonna get an ET tiny waist and I would say like um, as far as like changing body shape I think Apple was kind of like the most difficult uh, body shape to change um, because like you know you have like a lot of extra here and then you have to move it but an apple typically has like a thicker like a thicker waist so you can't always like make that you know your waist small all you can do is like make your bottom section your you know make the southern hemisphere a little bit bigger so it may take you a lot more weight on the bottom to like give you that you know shape you're looking for you know so um it's gonna be a little work but that's okay that's that that's okay hey we have an end goal we're trying to be beautiful you know it's worth it it's worth the extra work let's talk about how you would achieve that so if you have a little extra weight here one you gotta lose weight okay so I know I'm sorry I'm sorry but you do you do because even if you go and you get a BBL <clears throat> like typically it's just better to be as close to your ideal as possible because what happens if you have a little extra weight on you and you just suck it all out the middle you know now you have a small waist you know hopefully you got a big butt but then you kind of like like you're still kind of big everywhere except 
like your midsection you know and it kind of looks it doesn't look natural now if you're not looking for that natural look hey by all means uh, but if you're kind of looking for like a more natural look, like it's better to just kind of lose a little weight, even if you go and decide to, you know, get some type of plastic surgery. Um, so you, it could just be more natural. It's less on your body. And then like you achieve like the goal you want a lot easier. So one, you could just lose weight and that might, hey, that might balance you out. Um, now, if you do decide to get like some type of um, plastic surgery or modification, I mean, I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory. You would get uh, BBL, or you can just get straight lipo, have it sucked out of uh, your midsection, back, and flanks. Uh, if you, you know, if you need it, you can have it transferred to your butt. Uh, if not, then you know the regular lipo should be good to go. But typically, the biggest issue for an apple. Is getting that smaller waist so the concentration should really be on getting your uh, waist as small as possible again you may not be able to do that because you know you just have naturally like a thicker waist nothing wrong with that but if you are trying to get like that bigger um, bottom section uh, what you can do is slim out that waist and then you know try to concentrate weight here at the bottom and typically like just natural weight gain it probably isn't going to do it because you might already have some extra here so you just gain weight here so yep you'll have to have that joint you either have to lose the weight have it sucked out the middle put in your butt that's if you want a pair or an hourglass uh, obviously with the pair you're going to need a little more weight at the bottom than you would if you're going for the hourglass now if you and it's kind of the same with the ruler. Like if you have, you know, if you're not packing a lot on top, you may have to get some breast modification. Um, you can go for implants. They also have like fat grafting you can do. So those are alternatives too, okay? If you have a larger chest, which apples can have a larger chest, you may have to get a reduction. You know, so you just kind of have to just see where you are and see where you want to be. But those are your options. Lose a little weight, have a BBL, possibly have, you know, some breath modification, whether you make it bigger, whether you make it smaller. You know, it's kind of up to you and your preference, whatever you're trying to do. Anyway, yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, make that waist smaller. That's pretty much the name of the game. Smaller waist, big hips. All right, so tell me like what you're trying to do are you apple like and if you are like are you just happy being an apple you don't feel like you should have to change yourself and you're beautiful the way you are that's dope put it in the comment section if you're apple and you kind of want to change and you just want to be maybe you want to be a ruler maybe you want to be a pear maybe you want to be hourglass i don't know tell me i don't know unless you tell me so put it in the comment section please rate and subscribe this video Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video, which I think I will do hmm, inverted triangle because that's the shape I started off with. So it is near and dear to my heart. All right. Thank you guys for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.